The Seven Habits of Happy Kids, Habit Number Six, Sophie and the Perfect Poem. At school one day, Miss Hoot said, Class, I am going to pair you up with a partner and have you write a poem to share with the class in one week. I hope that I get Lily as my partner, Sophie thought. Lily, you'll be with Pokey. Allie, you'll work with Sammy. And Goob and Jumper will be together. And Sophie and Biff, said Miss Hoot. Sophie couldn't believe it. She didn't want to be partners with Biff. Biff was mean and scary. Geez, Sophie, sorry you got Biff, said Tagalong Alley. Yeah, said Jumper, that's a real bummer. I'm probably going to have to write it all by myself, said Sophie. It has to be perfect. The next day, Miss Hoot gave everyone time to meet with their partners. Sophie and Biff got together in the corner by the fish tank. I think we should write a poem about the sun, moon, and stars, said Sophie. That's dumb, said Biff. I think we should write a poem about trees, wind, and water. Sophie sighed. This was going to be even harder than she thought. Sophie decided to talk with Miss Hoot. Can I please get a different partner? Biff isn't very nice, and he doesn't have any respectable ideas. Oh, my dear Sophie, if you get to know him, you'll find that Biff is really nice, and he has lots of good ideas, just like you, said Miss Hoot. I'm sure you two can come up with a poem that you both are proud of. Just open your eyes. Sophie agreed that she would try. So, Biff and Sophie started working on their poem. What do you like about trees? asked Sophie. You can use them to make a beaver dam. My dad made one that took him six months, and I got to help. That's cool, said Sophie. I also like the sun, moon, stars, and all that stuff, too, said Biff. You do, said Sophie. Well, maybe we could put our ideas together. They got to work. Over the next few days, Sophie and Biff hardly took a break. The big day had arrived. It was time for everyone to share their poems. Goob and Jumper got up in front of the class and read their poem first. Our poem is called Bugs and Basketballs. Here goes, said Goob. Basketballs and little bugs, everywhere you look. Little bugs and basketballs, see them in a book. If I had an ant, I would hide him in a plant. If I had a ball, I would bounce it off a wall. That would be real fun. Too bad this poem is done. Well, said Miss Hoot, that was, um, interesting. Next up were Sophie and Biff. Biff nervously read their poem as Sophie stood proudly by. Our poem is called Open Your Eyes. I opened my eyes, and what did I see? The sun, the moon, the stars, the trees. I opened my ears, and what did I hear? A gentle breeze on water clear. I opened my heart. And what did I find? An awesome new friend and a wonderful time. 
Biff and Sophie gave each other a high five, and the whole class cheered. Well, ruffle my feathers, said Miss Hoot. That was perfect. Wow, Sophie, your poem was really, really good, said Tagalong Alley. I guess Biff wasn't so bad, huh? Hey, everyone. Let's play some soccer, Jumper called. Great, Sophie said. Biff, are you coming? <laughs>